Imagine being chased by a T-Rex on your way to work, the ground quaking beneath you, the roar echoing in your ears, and the shadow of its colossal form looming over you. A terrifying scenario, right? This was the reality for our prehistoric ancestors, cohabiting the planet with the most fearsome creatures to ever walk the earth, the dinosaurs. Let's travel back in time, over 65 million years to the Cretaceous period, the era of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. This behemoth, standing at 20 feet tall, was one of the most fearsome predators of its time. Its jaw, capable of crushing bone, was filled with serrated banana-sized teeth. But, did you know that the T-Rex has a tiny feathered descendant still among us today? The chicken. Yes, you heard that right. The same bird that lays your breakfast eggs is a distant relative of the mighty T-Rex. Though they may not resemble each other physically, genetically, they share a surprising amount in common. Moving on to another terror of the past, the Velociraptor. Swift and agile, these dinosaurs were not the largest, but they were among the smartest and most vicious. Their sharp, curved claws could disembowel prey with a single swipe. Today, their closest living relatives are birds of prey, like eagles and hawks. These modern birds may not have the same ferocity, but they share the raptor's keen eyesight and agile hunting skills. Now, imagine a dinosaur that could literally look down on the T-Rex. The Argentinosaurus, one of the largest dinosaurs that ever lived, stood at an astonishing 100 feet long. Today, its closest living relative is the humble garden snail. Though they may not share the same size, both possess a slow, steady nature and a protective shell or armor. In the Argentinosaurus's case, it's thick, armored skin. It's fascinating, isn't it? How the most fearsome creatures of the past have evolved into the animals we see around us today. There's a certain beauty in the continuity of life, the resilience of nature, and the enduring power of evolution. And yet, it also raises a thought-provoking question. How do you think our world would change if dinosaurs still existed? Would we have cities, or would we live in fortified compounds? Would we have domesticated some of them, or would we be at the mercy of their predatory instincts? As we ponder these questions, remember, the dinosaurs aren't completely gone. They live on, not just in our imaginations and in our science, but in the birds that fly in our skies, the reptiles that slither in our gardens, and even the humble chicken in our farms. So next time you see a chicken pecking in the yard, remember the T-Rex that once roamed the earth. And maybe, just maybe, you'll see the chicken in a whole new light.